Hello Aquarius, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. Today I'm doing your weekly general love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is a general love reading. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. These messages are not for everyone. If you're a cross watcher of Aquarius or if you are Aquarius, just take whatever, whatever is re resonate with you. I will just pick up the energies here, guys. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Triple Two Tarot. You can come to me for personal reading if you want to. Details are also given on my channel. Let's see Aquarius what's coming for you in this week. Your overall energy here is here. And your person that you're dealing with, their energy will be here from this deck. Let's see uh, what's coming for you in this week. Okay, so you have the world card is here. Um, number 21, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 is the master number. Talk about uh, mind, body, spiritual. Um, spirituality, obviously. I also feel like um, the world card is here. It could be long distance relationship. This person on the distance from you right now, are, uh, there is a definitely physical distance or it could be emotional distance between you and this person. Um, the world card also mean here that the, it's it could be you're dealing with a fixed sign Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. Uh, what I'm seeing here and sensing here that for you here, Aquarius, that in this week, you are ready to embrace everything that is new. New cycles, new beginnings, you're ready. You already made up your mind. Look at this. This is your crown chakra. Also, this is your heart chakra. It's, everything is open for you right now. Everything is open. You are ready to embrace everything in your life uh, that is positive. Um, you are really positive, very, very positive right now for your future. I also feel like you've gone through a lot because this is the wild card, the last um, card here in the major arcana. So you've gone through a process. You've gone through a process. Then the tower, um, healing, you know, temperance, your star card, praying, manifesting, everything you've done. And now it's a time. Um, to get your reward right so that's how your overall energy here trying to embrace everything ready for your future very very positive about the future look at this you have the rebuild that is the tower moment right you'll be dealing with scorpio or aries here so what i'm seeing here with the world card and then the tower tower is already happened in your life already happened in your life it's like you are transformed now fully transformed it could be you are going through this process now in this week this transformation is still going on but you are ready to for change you're ready for everything to accept um, how it is right i also feel like you're going with the flow you're accepting uh, the nature of universe you're accepting the nature of law whatever is a is that you are definitely, it's like you are already made up your mind. You are changed. You are transformed. It's happened already. Tower has happened. It could be this week is that you are going through this uh, period, time. And um, you are ready for new things, new change, new cycles. You are ready to embrace. Um, yeah, look at this. The judgment card here. Blossom. Number 20. This is the judgment. Scorpio energy very strongly. I told you. I also feel like with the world card and with the judgment, it's... Uh, it's a reunion, it's a reconciliation, could be that you're dealing with your soulmate, higher self of soulmate, could be uh, twin flame, right? I'm seeing here, I'm sensing here also, it's a growth, this relationship already that you are in, uh, you learn a lot, um, you gain through a lot, it's like you are highly intuitive right now, uh, also it's look like you are going through a period that is very, very spiritual very very spiritual period and very very spiritual time um uh, is is happening for you right now or it could be you are going through this process uh it could be this is coming for you it's like the tower has to um you know fall down now it's over the past is past it's done what i'm seeing sensing here with the tower here the past rebuild here you're building uh you're building up you're changing it's look like you're trying to um how to say this um you're trying to end uh and uh, you know your your old skin your past karma you are done with your karma whatever the thing was you're in karmic situation your karma you are already cleansing yourself your body your your soul it's here it's like you're ready you're transformed you're changing transforming day by day you're getting very very positive and intuitive day by day i'm very getting is a very very positive and very beautiful energy here with this uh combination here right now let's see what's coming for you 
in this tweet how this person is feeling for you and how what's going on with this person and you let's see what's going on between you and this person in this way let's see okay now let's see the person you are dealing with how they are feeling towards you what to expect in this week five of swords could be gemini libra aquarius you are dealing with there's a conflict still going on from this person's side they are not ready to solve it what i'm sensing here with the first card is very strong here obviously the hermit hmm. they are not even responding to you could be you're dealing with a virgo here so i feel that they're not responding to you and they're also not ready to solve this out uh this conflict this fight uh this argument uh i also feel like the differences between you have with this person um could be age difference could be um different perspective different um something is there that you guys are not like uh different and um but i feel this person um got disappeared on the silent mode giving you silent treatment are uh, not talking with you or uh, i also feel like the the hermit is here that um yeah they are on the retreat they are contemplating but they are not ready uh, to solve this issue with you because they are not responding to you if you are if you are messaging them you are calling them they are not responding they are they are they are into silent mode what i'm sensing here seven of uh, cups here pisces cancer scorpio uh, you are definitely missing them they're dreaming about them four of swords but this person is not responding four of swords again it look like this person is on the definitely on the silent mode um i also feel like uh, four of swords with the seven of cups it look like uh, you're also going through some you're missing them you want to be with them you're also daydreaming about them uh um, but at the same time there is no talk there is no talk between you and this person look at this four of swords and with the hermit there is no talk between you and this person no communication at all uh, could be this person ghosted you got disappear without even telling you and uh, now you're retreating you're taking break you're trying to heal from this situation so i feel that you are ready with the five to four of swords you're ready uh to talk you're ready to talk with them that what's the problem what's the issue let's let's sit down and talk but i feel like this person is not ready to talk with you whoever this person here is let's see um underneath of five of swords uh queen of pentacles taurus will go and capricorn energy here could be you're dealing um with the earth sign so what i'm seeing here this person could be um could be a single mom uh could be a single papa a dad uh doesn't matter what i'm seeing it could be this is a business woman a uh, businessman they on their own business and this person i feel like um with the five of swords with the queen of pentacles i feel that um whoever this person here is she is not ready to talk i'm seeing here what i'm sensing here yeah she's not uh, ready could be uh, their focus is right now could be money and pentacles and they are on themselves whoever this person is they are independent confident and i feel that that's why this person don't know what to do what i'm seeing here seven of pentacles but you're waiting for this person to come and to express their feelings to invest the time it's like patiently waiting for this person you are waiting for this person to come and express the love but i feel this person is not ready to talk with you to end the fight and conflict whatever the thing going on right now there is no communication at all underneath of seven of um yeah could be this person is already married and they have children look at this with the queen of pentacles with the 10 of pentacles could be this is a strongly a very confident a business woman or businessman you are dealing with right could be you are dealing with a married man married woman right so that's a problem you are waiting for this person to come towards you and offer you something okay page of wands uh and look at this bottom of the deck ace of cup pisces cancer scorpio uh i feel that they are in love with you but they're not telling you but this love offer is coming very soon could be this is new love someone is uh, falling in love with you uh 
um, but for some of you definitely this is not the new love this is like you are waiting for this person to express the love to you and i feel they are in love with you already with the ace of cups but they're not telling you right because the page of wands is talk about children could be um could be this person this woman has a child and she's already married a single mom a single father i don't know if you're dealing with a married person right it's here someone has a children already someone is already married that could be a divorced woman right but you're waiting for this person to offer you this marriage this commitment to talk about this page of wands excitement is this is like waiting for the message waiting for this person to tell you that how they feel put the put the time in this connection okay what i'm seeing here seven of pentacles with the hermit i feel that definitely you're waiting for this person to come to come from this uh, whatever they are got disappear whatever they are gone it's look like you are waiting for this person to come and talk to you page of wand waiting for the message ace of cups waiting for this person to tell you how they feel this offer this love offer that you're waiting for so you're also waiting for this person to express the feelings to you because you are in love with this person also Ace of Cups also means that could be there is a new love is coming in your way, right? Could be this new love is coming in your way. That this new love, for some of you, this new love is you are giving to yourself now. You are, you are saying to this person, enough is enough. I have been pat patiently waiting for this person, but you never come to me. With the Ace of Cups, it could be possible with the world card here. Now, you are saying you are giving this love to yourself, okay? And you are going with the flow. You are going with the flow. Let's see what will happen in the future. That's how your um, opinion is right now. Could be for some of you, not for everyone, obviously. Okay? So I really hope it resonated with you guys. Like, share, and subscribe my channel. God bless you.